So a joint return means that you have two people that are on the same tax return. So you have um, different tax brackets than if you were to file single. So not different tax brackets, it's still the same brackets, but they're um, compressed when you're filing single. So you have larger um, segments where you can earn money and pay in a preferential tax tax rate. There you go. So the way I taught taught it to you at Purdue and the way that I was explaining it, it's a stair-step system, mm-hmm. right? As you make more money, you move up to a higher step. It doesn't mean that you don't pay money at that lower level. You just go to a higher step. Mm-hmm. And what happens when somebody passes away is the step shrinks. Yes. Right? All, mm-hmm. Suddenly they are at a higher level uh, without their husband, if, if we're following along in the suit of the show, or their wife. Uh, it does happen both ways. And, and um, we are... Uh, I guess, blessed and honored and um, still saddened uh, to have buried a lot of those spouses over those years. So um, what is the difference between today, where we are now, versus when people had pensions? What what mm-hmm. really goes on there? Yeah. So before people, they had pensions with their jobs. So they knew that once they retired, they were going to have this guaranteed income stream um, either for their life or if they chose um, to take a payment where it would continue on through their spouse's life as well. So um, along with the Social Security, they'd have this pension income coming in. Well, things have changed in the workforce to where pensions aren't really offered anymore. So people have to start saving money into their 401ks in order to have extra income outside of Social Security once they get to retirement. 